Hi, welcome back guys. Today I am back with another new video. So in this video, I will discuss with the very interesting SQL interview problem. So please watch this video at the end. You will learn lots of things. So let's start the video. First discuss the question. So basically I have one matching pair table and this one is my entire data set having total two columns ID and person type. So here you can see that for ID A1 is represent adult and C1 is represent as a child. So my expected output is the A1. So here you can see that A1 as a adult and C1 as a child. So A1 map with the C1. Now go with the A2 and C2. A2 as a adult and C2 as a child. So here you can see that A2 and A2 as a uh, like uh, map with the C2. Now go with the A3 and C3. A3 represent adult and C3 as a child. So A3 map with the C3. And I have only A4 adult are there. C4 is not there. So A4 is not mapped with anyone. So in the child column, it will getting null. So let's start the video how we can solve this problem. So first I have to run this matching pair table. So in the matching pair table, this one is my entire data set. Okay. Uh, so first I have to find the numbers are there. So here you can see that in the A1, C1. So I have to find the 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay. So in the SQL server, one function are there is the right function. Okay. Right function. And in right function, basically take two parameters. Okay. So I have to give the ID and I have to uh, need only one character. I have to give column name as value. So if I run this query, so here you can see that I have extracted all the like numeric like 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay. So this uh, like output, I have to keep one CT. I have to tell you why I have to keep in CT. Okay. With CT as and I have to close this bracket and if you not uh, familiar with the SQL server if you for Oracle or MySQL or any other RDBMS we have to use like a substring function so I have to make this output as a same as a another output then I have to join with the self join self join with the how I can solve self join so first table with the value and second table as a value but first table ID not equals to second table ID okay so I have to show you that select star from matching pair matching pair okay so i have to use here sub string sub string actually sub string basically take three argument okay so first one is the like column name so i have to give the column name i need as a second character character as a two one two three four like that so i have to give as a position as a two i need only one character i have to give as a one i have to give as a column name as well so if i run this one so i have to get the same output okay so if i run both two times so if i run this one as a two time so here you can see that i'll getting the same output okay so i have to join with the left joint okay so this value equal to this value but this id not equals to this id so a1 join with the c1 correct same a2 join with the c2 like that okay so i have to keep this output as a CTE1 so comma CTE1 as as this okay so I have to use here select star from CTE and I have to use here left join CTE1 and I have to give the condition on CTE dot value so this value equals to this value okay so ct dot value equals to ct one dot value and one more condition i have to add ct one dot id not equals to ct one dot id okay so i have to use here ct dot id not equals to ct one dot id correct so if i run this one so now here you can see that a1 pair with the c1 and a2 pair with the c2 a3 pair with the C3 and A4 is not any pair so I'll getting null. So I need only two column this ID and this ID correct. So I have to use here next line CTE dot ID. I have to give column name as like adult and I have to give as CT1 dot ID. I have to column name as child. 
okay so if i run so here you can see that i'll getting the adult and child combination but i'll getting the duplicate order in the vice versa okay a1 with the c1 and c1 as a one so i will take only first one a1 c1 a2 c2 a a3 c3 and a4 with null okay so i have to find the row number based on the based on the like numeric a1 with the c1 a2 with the c2 a3 with the c3 and a4 so i have to find the row number comma row number and i have to use over and i have to use partition by one as a one partition two as another partition three as another partition four as another partition okay so i have to use partition by partition by same i have to use same function as a write function and i have to give the id comma one okay and i have to use order by also order by also cte dot id correct ct dot id because i have to give alias as a adult but is a main column name as a ct dot id and i have to give as a ct dot id and i have to give the column name as row number so if i run this one so now here you can see that i'll getting the for this one as a row number one two for this one as a row number one two for a3 c3 c3 a3 are getting one two and a4 only one records while getting one so i have to filter where row number equals to one okay so i have to make one more ct as a final ct as now i have to go down here so select star from ct where row number equals to one so if i run so here you can see that i will getting the uh, getting the error uh, from c sorry this one is the final ct final ct where row number equals to one so if i run so here you can see that a1 pair with the c1 a2 pair with the c2 a3 pair with the c3 and a4 is a no pair so i'll getting null so i need only two column okay so i have to use here adult and i have to use here child so if i run so i'll get the expected output so a1 c1 a2 c2 a3 c3 and a4 with null so i hope you understand this video if you visit the channel first time please subscribe this channel if you have any doubt please comment on the below we'll meet again goodbye